Welcome, in front of me is a Xiaomi Pad 6 and today I will show you how you can hard reset this device through recovery mode. Now with this being said, performing a reset of the device through recovery mode will also allow you to get rid of a screen lock that for instance you may or may not know, not judging. So um, I'm gonna actually unplug this. Uh, the cable isn't needed, I was just charging the device because it's pretty low. So with that being said, I'm going to unlock the device and you can see that I do have a pattern set right here and I'll progress from the lock screen as though I don't know this pattern. So number one, we'll need to hold our power button. Just light up the screen first so you can actually see. So you want to hold it. From there, we're going to select power off. And when the device turns off, you want to hold your power button and volume up at the same time. I'm keeping my hand right here on the screen just so that the camera can have something to focus on. I'm gonna let go of the power button once the me logo is visible on the screen. And apparently I can't boot it without the cable because the battery is just too dead. Pretty sure it was like 20%. Anyway, as you can see, it should automatically for you if your device is actually charged boot into this mode. Now, if you get the same pop-up because you have a uh, low battery, then just plug it in. And as you've seen, once you plug it in, it automatically jumps to it. So in here, I'm going to shift it a little bit down so we can see the, uh, the top portion because it's more important. We have a couple options and we will, as you can see, uh, need to use volume buttons to navigate through them. So volume down will go down and up will go up. And with that in mind, you want to select the second option, which is wipe data and then confirm it with a power button. Then select wipe all data, confirm it and select confirm. And there we go. Data wipe successful. So we're going to press power button once more, once more, once more. And this will now reboot the device and continue the resetting of it in the background. Now, because it is continuing the reset, it will take it a little bit longer to boot back up, which is completely normal. So just give it a minute or two to finish up. And once that's done, we should be presented with Android setup screen. So I'll be back once that is visible on my device. And as you can see, the process is now finished and you can set up your device however you like. Now, I'm going to add one more info for people, uh, for probably very small percentage of people, uh, but some this will be important. So when performing this kind of reset, sometimes uh, the, dev the device will become FRP locked. And what that means is if the device before the reset uh, had a screen lock, which this one did, and also had a Google account signed in on it, which this one did not, but in your case, it might have, you will need to confirm your Google or screen lock uh, when going through the setup of the device. Now, assuming you don't know either of those, that would basically uh, make it impossible for you to set up, set up your device without well, providing either one of those. But luckily, I did already record a guide on how you can bypass this and then completely remove it uh, without needing to actually verify uh, the either one of those. So if you're interested in this kind of video, uh, just look for it. I already did record it. So this should give you a clear instruction on how you can bypass this and remove it. Shameless plug, but I know that some people might need this. So with that being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.